Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and happy 9th anniversary in Warframe. So Friday the 25th officially marks 9 years of Warframe. On Monday we are getting the official 9th year anniversary event, and that'll pretty much just be a free Dex Wisp skin, and maybe some other stuff, we'll have to wait and see. But Friday, right now, is the official 9 year anniversary of Warframe. So everyone, let's clap it up, let's clap it up. I had my nine year stream over at twitch.tv slash pupsker if you want to take a look there. Just, you know, saying hi to everyone, but my little puppy had to go outside and I had to make dinner and yeah, I got too busy. So hey, why not just say congrats Warframe, make a little video. And you know, why not go over some of Warframe's big updates to see over the years how they really advanced. I'll definitely be streaming on Monday after I get out my Garuda Prime and Dex Wisp video, so follow again over at Twitch if you want to. You can check out any of my other social medias, and then if you ever want to support the channel, you can join the YouTube membership, sub at Twitch with Twitch Prime, hey, anything helps. Thank you, thank you. It is a calm time in Warframe now, so I'm pretty excited to get new updates soon, right? But hey, nine years of a game, that's pretty crazy. If you didn't know, Warframe started off a lot smaller than it is right now. It actually started off decently, like, small, unknown, good, like, work-in-progress type game. They released it. Their initial updates were, look at that, 2012-10, 2012-10. Looks like, yeah, that's before the official release, it looks like. Got crazy times for sure. Why, why is it like this? Why is it impossible? There we go. Warframe, please not like this. So it's really insane that it's been out for so long, but how long until the actual release update? Since it was smaller early on, they just had these small update, one, two, three, Blazing Embers, Hammer Review, New Stomping Grounds. They actually started naming them Stormbringer, Okay, we have soft launched open beta. Yeah, 318, right? And then you see hot fixes, hot fixes, hot fixes. Easter egg hot fixes. Hog, dude, where is it? Oh my. Rise of the Warlords. This, I think, counts as near the full release of the game. And then, like, two days later. Full release of the game? Something like that. Something like that. I don't know. But yeah, there you go. Like, the game eventually... Oh, no, that's a 5.23. It updated and eventually released. Oddly enough, I think, like, in between somewhere here. I want to find it. Is it 7.3? Hey! This is apparently the official release. If you ever Google anything on Warframe, it slates... That the release date of Warframe, right there, look at that. Magnificent. Magnificent. So, for some reason, they're counting, uh, they're counting this date here as the official release. Okay, fix global chat windows disappearing, chat contents disappearing, trainer link, add additional, okay. But there's nothing official here about the release release of the game, but and then again, I assume in just update 7 Stormbringer, it probably maybe says something about the official release. But hey, people are counting today as the official release on the internet, and I'm going with it. And it's hard to find online notes, apparently. But, damn, that's where it is. There used to be weekend, oh, weekend extermination event? Yeah, they used to have a lot more events in the game. They used to have a lot more quest or sorry not quest clan based events and then they just started getting updates right vobin rise of the warlords vor's revenge shadow of the dead right that's where you started getting multiple things hot fixes definite warframes new warframes look at that beautiful beautiful operation arid fear right warframe used to be able to get a lot more done push out a lot more in the earlier days for a while. It was kind of crazy. Update 13, Dark Sectors. That's right, that's their Dark Sector named one. Hold F to equip to melee. Ooh, quick tips. 
there's just so many early on releases and I wasn't really uh, paying attention too much this early on. Zero plus PSA, Ido Hunter and Nami Solo, Piranha, Depth of the Void, Breeding Grounds, right? Look at all of it. The Mad Cephalon update 14. We had Arcwing, Warframe Sanctuary. Oh my god. Sanctuary update, Laws of Retribution. New mission, the Law of Retribution. Damn, Warframe Sanctuary. Crazy that that all came out so long ago. 2015. Damn. And uh, how long did the uh, Laws of Retribution and all the raids like LOR last? Let's not really talk about it. They didn't last too long. They lasted definitely a good amount of time, I guess, but not too long. There it is. Update 18, the second dream. That was all the way back in December of 2015. This was a this was a pretty hype time for Warframe. Like this is a pretty cool quest. Wasn't where Warframe quite popped off, I don't think, because uh, it was doing a lot better in 2015 than it was the years before. Operation Rathoom. Oh my god, I made a video around this, I think. Or maybe I made a video around the updated version of this. Ah, oh, Warframe's just been out for so long, it's crazy. It's crazy to think, I, I made like random videos around there too. Update Lunaro! Oh my god, that was when? This is 2016. Crazy to think about. 2020 now, 2016 then. Ooh, Silver Grove update. It's been just so long in Warframe. Nine whole years now. Damn. Update 19, The War Within. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. 2016. Right, they're getting their big yearly update. A lot of new stuff like that. War Within update. The Glassed Gambit update. Right, and then they had all their hotfixes. Oh, there is an easier way to do this. Why am I so bad at using UI elements? Oh, that's why. So many updates. So little time. The Glass Gambit. Pacifism Deficit. Chains of Hero. Plains of Eidolon. There we go. The most hype update to date, I would say. Like, most actual hype. New War was hype built, but like... No, the Plains of Eidolon update was truly where Warframe, like, just popped off. Because, like, open world, a whole new experience in Warframe. How to spearfish, or look at this. Look at all of the update notes. Oh my god, Focus 2.0. <gasps> Even more changes, right? It was just so crazy back then. So crazy. Can I sideways it? No, I can't. Yeah, that was update 22 Planes of Eidolon. Had more Planes of Eidolon there. Oh, that was like Plague Star Planes of Eidolon. Had even more Planes of Eidolon updates. Crazy. Like, it went for quite some time, as you can see. Shrine of the Eidolon update. Yeah, of course they'd have a lot of uh, Planes of Eidolon stuff, but Beast of the Sanctuary update. And then, you got the Sacrifice in 2018. This was also a big release, right? This was pretty massive. A big story quest that a lot of people ended up and did for sure love. Brought a lot to the game. Look at that boyo. Excal motherfucking Umbra, right? Amazing Warframe, all in all, for sentience and usability. Cool gimmick. One of a kind. And then, after the Sacrifice... I would say Warframe kind of calmed down. We got Fortuna, right, in 2018. That was also really cool. It was another open world, second of its kind. Has a cool general setup. We eventually got Profit Taker. Nice, nice. People don't like it as much as Planes of Eidolon, but still really cool. And then you have Planes of Eidolon Remaster, a little refresh, right? Oh my god, crazy. The Jovian Concord. Look at there, you got your girl Wisp, insanity. And then uh, going along with that, 
Wukong Prime update. Tenno reinforcements, augment tweaks update. Yeah, you know, had another one of those recently. Atlas Prime update. Old Blood update. That was Grendel. Gauss eventually. Yep. And then update 27, Empyrean. I would say this probably marked uh, the slow death and, uh, well, just not death or anything. The slow calming down of Warframe. I would say... Yeah, Old Blood, probably around this area after Fortuna is a lot when Warframe just started to calm down a bit, more so when Empyrean hit. People, uh, people did not like Empyrean, it was a very bad release cycle. It's crazy to think that that happened so long ago, but so not long ago. 2019, December, right? Pretty much 2020. And then Warframe updates are, you know, calm down, updates, update, Warframe revised, oh god, can I pull more in there? And then Deadlock Protocol, oh, it's where you got your girl, Protea, right? Awesome. 22, or 2006. It's crazy that I've been playing Warframe now for so long. Really, uh, really puts things into perspective. Life is odd like that. Heart of Deimos, another open world, cool, definite, awesome NPCs. But I mean, was it too different? Not a ton of updates between then. And then we have Call of the Tempestari, which was also pretty cool, right? Definitely uh, better overall than the Empyrean drop. And after that, updates kind of slowed down. Look at that, Call of the Tar Tempestari Tenogen, Tempestari Tenogen hotfix, Gara Prime update, Sisters of Parvos update. That's the next big, big update. Then they had Plague Star again, right? Ever since then, Warframe's definitely calmed down. I think it's because, yeah, the virus, the direction of Warframe, a lot of confusion around what's gonna happen to the future of Warframe. It's crazy. But everyone, that's it for today's video for the most part. I just wanted to check out everything. As always, some subtle reminders, if you want to join the PC clan, the Corgi Cult, you can uh, join the Discord or whisper me in-game with your name on PC, or throw it down in the comment section, and if I see it, I see it. It's kind of hard to coordinate all that these days, since Warframe doesn't have a, you know, clan acceptance page or anything, it just has, we have to manually invite people. So yeah, check out the clan if you want to support the channel, you can use creator code PUPSKER, check out any of my random social medias. I am again streaming a lot more on Twitch this month, I'm probably, you know, not gonna go eight hours every day at all, probably three to six or something, most days, depending. Some days I'll take it easy to do more YouTube stuff, some days I won't, right? It always depends, but thank you all for supporting me in any of my videos or random online shenanigans. I appreciate it all because, you know, let's be real, it's very, very nice being able to be a work from home YouTube content creator internet human right now. So I truly do appreciate it. I'm gonna go say hi to, you know, Ruben, he's sleeping somewhere down here, and I will see you all next time. Peace.